something that <laughs> he doesn't see. He lands a right hand Ooh. on the inside there. Bjornsson swinging away. Both men winging away. Doesn't look like an exhibition much to me at the moment. <laughs> no, it doesn't, mate. Of course, got to remember that against Eddie Hall, it, it's not an exhibition. They will be trying to take each other's head off and they'll both know that the likelihood is the one that lands cleanly first is going to be the one that wins that contest. So good for him to just experience little moments like this in a contest against a, a big guy who can really throw those hands. Absolutely. Does just he just these shots? Has he hurt Does Simon Valili? Blowing heavy, Simon. Well, he's, he's well above his natural weight. You think he fought Myris Breedis and weighed in 199 pounds for that one. He's 252 this evening. So he won't have, uh, he won't have necessarily trained as hard as he would have for this. That was the left hook. Well, it, it was a left hook that did land. Whether the feet did get caught up, but certainly something landed on the inside there. But I think the problem is when you get tangled up with someone as big as Thor and as strong as him, it's uh, almost impossible not to get bustled over, as Stephen Ward found out in February. Hmm. Well, he wanted a step up. He wanted a more difficult challenge. This has definitely been that. And I think no point, Darren, him going through the motions if the whole point of this apprenticeship is to feel real punches and, and get a real in-ring experience, know what it's like to take a, a clean shot, find out a little bit about himself. That's the, the entire point of this. So it's not been a bad exercise at all for, for Hatfield Bjornsson. No, huge respect to him for, for how he's approached boxing, how seriously he's taken it, dropping the weight and... Uh, getting in there with decent caliber of opponent, you know, hats off, credit where credit's due. And, you know, he's, uh, he's not a bad fighter. Now, this is a man that hadn't picked up the gloves until this time last year after breaking that world deadlift record, 501 kilos. He weighed 206 kilos himself on the day. You think he's big now? You should have seen the guy another 50 kilos of muscle and meat on that enormous six foot nine inch frame similar to and myself Chris right he, down you think he's big yeah now. similar yeah guy another 50 two arms two legs that's where the similarities end I think <laughs> <laughs> you were you were pretty good in your day Darren I seem to remember it's a long time ago yeah. now <laughs> it was <laughs> but again Simon showing that patience trying to draw that lead out of Bjornsson, but Bjornsson not having any of it. Taking his time. Yeah, Bjornsson just, just trying to... Yeah, just trying to ch chop that right hand over the top, isn't he, of that jab yep. of Valilis as he comes in. Well, expected Simon Valilis to throw more jabs to the body. There's a massive target there. You know, work to the body and then bring the shots up. Yeah, get that front foot outside, bring opposite. that right hand down the middle. Exactly. Well. Exactly. Yeah, Valili just stepping in. He's not getting his foot on the outside. That's where they're getting tangled up. But for yeah. Bjornsson, he's not as good going forward as he is going backwards. He's pretty light on his feet, taking that little shuffle back when Valili commits. But to cover that ground going forward, especially at his weight size, it's not very easy. And Valili, although he is, well, 50 pounds above his fighting weight as of a, a couple of years ago, I know he stepped up against Fabio Wardley and he was about 230 then, I think. But he's, uh, he's still got all of the tools in the locker at 35. And he's beckoning Bjornsson on with a minute to go in this fourth round. Well, fair play to Simon Valili. I didn't expect him to to treat this as an exhibition. Knowing him, and we, we've spent some time with him, he, he's a real fiery character when he gets inside the ring. So credit for him treating it the way it should be. I just didn't see it, but it's been interesting. And another box tick for, for Bjornsson and uh, more experience in the bank for him. 
Yeah, we can't say he hasn't given himself every chance of performing in September. Sparring, he's been working on the fundamentals, the body weight's come right down, his conditioning is as good as it could be at this stage. And, well, essentially 10 months into what will eventually be a 13-, 14-month apprenticeship with two professional contests in the bag, eight rounds banked against Stephen Ward and Simon Valilli. And, well, I know from speaking to Stephen Ward yesterday how grateful he said Thor has been for... Ward coming over and helping him out. He said they've been on the phone a number of times. Bjornsson always happy to give Stephen Ward advice as he's come up from light heavy to cruiserweight just on nutrition, what foods to eat. He said he couldn't have been more grateful for the time that I'd given him in the ring and the lessons that I taught him. And no doubt Bjornsson will be extremely grateful to Simon Valilli in a different way too because this is invaluable experience that he could not have gained any other way than, than doing what he's done in these last six months. No, he's, he's, uh, he's tackled the, the whole process in the correct manner. Um, yeah, he's learning on the job, but doing things the way he should be doing. Hats off to both men. Obviously going to get a thought. We're going to get uh, thoughts from both the guys. Let's grow a quick word with Sai first up. Sai, if you wouldn't mind having a quick chat with us. Up the borough. Sai, can we just uh, get your thoughts on the, on the, up the borough, up the borough, I love it. Um, listen, you have, you have fought some big lads in your time and things like that during your professional career. That's a different, uh, different battle altogether. How was it for you? Yeah, uh, it was awkward. He's a big lump, so, you know, when he was getting physical, lean and on, you can feel the difference, definitely. You know what I mean? But, uh i seen his last fight and credit to him, he's come on a lot, you know what I mean? It looks like he's put a lot of work in, he's definitely improved. And in terms of the skill, I mean, obviously you are a man who's been there, done that in the boxing game. He's just starting out as well. Potential? Yeah, he's got a lot of potential. And I'm not just saying that I have not One leaves some bounces in his last fight, so all the best to him. And to you, Si, as well, uh, how are things in Mr. Valilli's world at the moment? What does the rest of the year hold for you? Yeah, life's good. Uh, back to work. And uh, see where the after party's at tonight. And in terms of the Dubai experience, has it been all right for you and your team? Yeah, it's been brilliant. I mean, MTK, I mean, I'm fortunate to be managed by him. And uh, Don, the hospitality's been unbelievable. So I like to thank him very much. And finally, Borough for the title next year? Borough for everything next year. <laughs> so you've been an absolute pleasure. All the best. Safe journey back to uh, Yorkshire. Uh, let's hear it for Simon Valili, a true gentleman. Talking of gentlemen, what about this gentleman alongside us? as well. He returns to Dubai where he's had so much success in the past. It's home from home the big man from Iceland. He's got a great team behind him. We're going to have a quick word with him now. It's an absolute pleasure uh, to welcome uh, Thor back to Dubai. Uh, and this is his last fight before, of course, uh, his battle with Eddie Hall a little later on. We'll get thoughts on that in just a few minutes' time. Put your hands together for Hathor Bonson. Thor. Certainly your toughest challenge today. Your thoughts on your opponent? Absolutely. Uh, Simon was a good opponent for me. Um, this was good to test my chin as well as my uh, uh, ability to fight in the ring against a professional. Uh, he gave me some good shots, good hooks that, that landed well. I was able to test my chin. I was very happy with my performance. I was able to thankful for him as well for coming here to Dubai to have this exhibition match with me in my preparation against Eddie Hall in September. Don't miss that, guys. It's going to be a blast, and I promise you that I'm doing whatever I can to knock out Eddie Hall in September. I have dedicated my life to boxing right now. I'm training roughly three times a day. I have a huge respect for the sport, and... Uh, it's just absolutely mind-blowing how difficult this sport is. I come from a strength sport where you don't have to have a lot of endurance. And this is testing my, not only my physical abilities, but also my me mental abilities to push hard every day in the ring. In someone I used to train six times a week, weightlifting. Nowadays, I'm almost training three times three times a day, so so much more, so I'm just like, 
full-time boxer right now. Absolutely loving it. I have a huge respect for the sport. And I just want to thank you guys for coming here to diet, showing support. I want to thank the people watching at home. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. You guys are the reason why I show up every single day to push because I want to prove to my fans and those that don't believe that I'm an athlete and I'm able to succeed in the things that I put my mind into. I was very happy with my performance tonight. It was a good challenge, but um, yeah, it was very good. Just a quick word for you guys in your corner. Last time we were here, obviously, you've got some great people behind you in your corner at the moment. Any thanks to the team behind you? I have the best people behind me. Sometimes you get all around you and forget the most important people because they know how much you appreciate them. But yeah, my coach, Willie, and all the people around me, my family, my wife, my son, my daughter, mom and dad. My wife is there. Coach is here in the crowd as well. Here are my people. I love you guys to death. You guys mean the world. My wife, she supports me. And it's just, I'm so thankful and grateful for her. Thank you, baby. I love you. And finally, I can't let you go without a certain message. There's the camera up there. We know for a fact that a certain Eddie Hall is watching on with interest. That was your last fight before the showdown in September. September the 18th, the heaviest boxing match in history. What do you want to say to Eddie? Eddie, you better be training your ass off because I'm coming for you and I'm knocking you out. You're going, to, you're going down. I know you're training hard. I respect you as an athlete. But I'm going to knock you out. See you soon. We'll see you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, he's an absolute gent. He's a big man, but he is, of course, a true gentleman of the sport. Put your hands together one more time for Hathor Boyonson. Yeah, Darren, I think it's fair to say that uh, whatever Eddie Hall's made of that performance and whatever the audience uh, at home, be it the, uh, the strongman community or boxing fans uh, have made, the, the one thing that Arthur Bjornsson has shown is total respect for the sport of boxing mm. in his preparation. And, and that's all you can really ask from him, given the situation that, that he's in. Uh, absolutely. You know, he understands the nature of the business and this is the hurt business. The worst case scenario is, is a terrible outcome and he understands that. So when approaching something that is so serious, you have to do it with 100% commitment. And he's done that. And they, I take my hat off to him for, for doing it and doing it with two guys in Ward and uh, Valili who uh, are very experienced fighters, good fighters. So uh, he's done exactly all he can in his preparation with the Eddie Hall contest. And like I say, hats off to him. Well, he's uh, just some of the highlights. You see the left hook that he was clipped with. I think he was clipped with another one there, and that's when the feet came together. But he was definitely buzzed by that left hook upstairs. Will Eddie Hall be watching that, thinking, if I can land one of those, it could be good night. But I think with these two men, they both know that they've got the power to hurt each other, and it could just be a case of who lands first wins that contest. September the 18th, Hatthor Bjornsson and Eddie Hall will do battle Pre-sale for the pay-per-view goes online on the 3rd of June right here at coresports.world. So do make sure you book your place early for that contest, September the 18th. The heaviest boxing match in history, Hatthor Bjornsson versus Eddie Hall. But phase two of the apprenticeship for the Big Icelander is complete. Our thanks to everybody involved at Core Sports Fight Night in association with MTK Global from the Comrade Hotel in Dubai, along with our presentation partners, Rain Body Fuel, The Beard Struggle, Buka and Bergil at the forefront of PCR testing. Really, really good event here. Chris Lloyd and my good friend, Darren Barker. Darren, pleasure to call this with you, as it is always, mate. Thanks so much for your company. Cheers, mate. And we'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, everyone.